Once upon a time, there was an old gray goose who lived on a farm. The farm belonged to a lady whom everyone called Aunt Rhody. Getting awfully old. I better cook him for my holiday dinner this year before he gets too tough to eat. Aunt Rhody's neighbor on the next farm was Pierre, the French chef. What can I do for you on this beautiful day? Well, I'd like to borrow your big roasting pan. I'm going to cook that old gray goose for my holiday dinner. Sacre bleu, oh mon dieu, don't cook the old gray goose. Perhaps you'll change your mind after you have eaten some of my hot cross buns. Crust buns were very tasty, Pierre, but tomorrow I'm still going to cook that old gray goose. How can you be so cruel? Well, I'm no more cruel than that girl, Mary. Haven't you heard the gossip about her? What gossip? Well, I heard that for dinner the other night, Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> was very upset, so that night he went to see the old gray goose. Did you know, mon ami, that Aunt Rody was planning on having you for her holiday dinner? Delightful. And what is she serving? You, Greek, run down to the river and take my rubber. Run away as fast as you can.
next morning, Pierre went to see Aunt Rhody and told her how he warned the old gray goose and gave him the rowboat. Oh, that's all right, Pierre. I was really very fond of that goose. I never could have cooked him. As a matter of fact, I miss him already. Just then, the old gray goose came waddling over the hill. Don't cry, Aunt Rhody. I knew you would never be mean enough to cook me. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry you had to run away and row down the river in the cold night air. Well, at least something good happened on the way down the river. I met a new friend. His name is Turkey Lurkey. Would you care to meet him sometime, Aunt Rhody? No, I certainly would. Oh, I certainly would. The old gray goose, Aunt Rhody, and Pierre all laughed and then joined hands and danced a lively polka. <laughs> 